There is a quote of Robert Schuller that I've loved for years. Here it is. Better to do something imperfectly than to do nothing flawlessly. <laughs> and that's what we're going to talk about this weekend. We're going to talk about the chains of perfectionism. And perhaps it's one of the greatest resolutions that a human can make to go beyond that. In Ecclesiastes 11, verse 4, the Bible says, Those who wait for perfect weather will never plant seeds. And those who look at every cloud will never harvest crops. There's great wisdom there. And I'm one of the people that learned this the hard way. I would wait for a perfect time. Have you ever done that? Waiting for a perfect time before you move, before you do something? And then at the end of the year, I would look at my year and examine my year and realize that I never did what I wanted to do, that I resolved to do, because I was waiting for a perfect time. Well, often a perfect time in human mind will never come. It is only in my life when I'm looking back and realizing when I followed God's guidance, even though it didn't seem perfect at the time, it was the perfect time. Well, I say to you, talking from one human mind to another human mind, there's never a perfect time to do anything. That's why we can always find reasons for putting off until tomorrow the things that we should be doing today. If you found yourself in the past bound by the chains of perfectionism and therefore leading to procrastination, well, maybe it is time to resolve to make 2014 different in that way. Ask yourself and do it while looking in the mirror. Ask yourself, what in the world are you waiting for? And more accurately, what you're afraid of and why. As you examine the emotional roadblocks that you might have and therefore henceforth have blocked your own path, you may discover that you're waiting for that perfect moment, the instant when you feel neither afraid or anxious. But in truth, perfect moments like these in human mind are few and far between. So, I ask you to do what I decided to do a while back. Stop waiting for the perfect moment and focus instead on finding the right moment to do what needs to be done. And then, trust God and step out on faith. That's often what you have to do. And when you do, you're going to discover that with God's help, you can accomplish truly great things and that you can accomplish them sooner rather than later. God bless you.